Hello everyone, it's Speakerwood HCG coming to you on Friday night at 8.45 p.m. Got home a little bit earlier, about 5.30ish. Um, this morning I stepped on the scale after my scale dance yesterday where I uh, waited an hour and then I weighed again. I had a point two release. Well, this morning I stepped on the scale and this, I didn't do a scale dance. I just stepped on it. And uh, the scale went, eh, 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 no, no, no. I give you your point two back. So I had a point two gain, point two. You know, it's okay. So <clears throat> I got about 15 miles out of Midland and realized that I'd left my HCG and everything in. Midland in the refrigerator, so I'd call my parents and go back. And whenever I got to the house that we're staying at, um, I went up to the car. My dad was eating a box of um, Popeye's chicken, <laughs> and he rolled down the window, and the waft was like, Whoa! <laughs> Oh my gosh, I want some of that chicken. Give me the chicken. And uh, I talked to my husband. I said, oh, my gosh, that chicken smells so good. And he said, well, you know, you can go by Popeye's and you can get some naked chicken. I said, dude, I don't want chicken without that yum yum stuff all over it. So I have to pass on the uh, on the Popeye's. Mm, my goodness. <clears throat> so. I I got uh, I got in Lubbock. Of course, I had to go to the Harley Davidson shop. I didn't get this there, but, but I have to go and check out the sales. My husband laughs at me about the sales because he says, "Well, you still had to pay for it, didn't you? And, you know, you're paying the you're still paying a lot of money. And it's like, but it's less than what it should be. So we have to rationalize. And he thinks my rationalization is pretty silly, but I just love Holly Davidson clothes. And so I got home. I did not eat lunch because um, they gave my little Dexter some. He gets he gets car sick. If any of you know anything to give a little baby for car sickness, Dexter's my Yorkie. Um, I gave him a half, or no, we gave him a quarter, what the vet suggested, because he weighs about four and a half pounds. And... Um, it made him, I mean, completely salivate, drool, thick, nasty. And he would twitch his head and make these really weird little noises. And it kind of scared me. So I told my husband, so this next time we gave him 0.8. Well, when I was coming home today, guess what? His 0.8 wasn't enough. And he threw up everywhere. Poor little guy. I felt so sorry for him. So I did not eat today until about six o'clock. So my hunter scale was about about um, one out of ten, ten being the highest. Mine was about a fourteen. So I ordered a steak, and it was rather large, larger than two servings. Not not a whole lot, but I ate it. Yes, I ate it. And I have been uh, wanting some chocolate so bad. I'm drinking now some chocolate strawberry tea. It's really good, really good. Republic of Teas. And um, then I did, I have some chocolate delight that I made a while back when I started. And um, I have it in the refrigerator, so I went in there and I cut one of them in half. And I sucked on it till it was gone. So, if I have a game tomorrow, I have a game tomorrow. I hope I don't, but if I do, <clears throat> I've stayed on protocol. Um, had a little bit too much meat, and I had the chocolate delight. So, hopefully, I mean, that's all I've had today. So, I know that that's not the right thing to do. I need to eat two meals. I need to spread it out, but <clears throat> I didn't. And traveling is really hard. And drinking all the water while you're on the road. Oh, man, I hate that. But anyway. 
So the next thing I wanted to talk about really quickly, and I'll try to hurry. So my, my vlog is not 10, 12, 15 minutes. Is um, I got a, a, especially for Squeaker Wood vlog today from KB doing HCG. Miss Kathy, <clears throat> I have to tell you that I appreciate your vlog more than you'll ever know. Um, dealing with bulimia, you know, you don't want to ever admit that you have bulimia because, you know, you think only skinny girls have bulimia. Fat girls don't have bulimia because if I were, if I were a true bulimic, then I would be skinny. You know, I'm not anorexic. I'm not. I just, I just like to eat and then I have to get rid of it. <clears throat> And to tell you that you can go in a public restroom, which I've done. I don't know if many of you other gals could do, you know, if you did that. But I could go in a public restroom and throw up with somebody right next to me. And the only thing they could tell is if my feet were backwards at the toilet. I mean, silent. I'm not proud of that. My husband and I were just talking about it. And, you know, um, if I had not have vlogged, about bulimia, if I had not have vlogged and told everybody that I was bulimic, he would never know. My daughters would never know. And to this day, my mother still does not know. And it's nothing to be um, proud. I'm not proud of it. I just, it's embarrassing that you, you, I'm going to use the word enjoy. That's, that's not the right word. But it's just what you do. It's just what you do. It's, it's, so I've gotten a couple of, of um, comments that I appreciate. Um, I wish I could remember her name and, and let me see if I can see it real quick. Um, Well, I can't find it. Anyway, uh, who, who, I'm sorry that I cannot remember your name. Whenever the comment that you made that you've been on P2 since November. And, um, you know, I, I understand. I, I want to be able to eat all the good food. I want to be able to say that. I can low carb. I mean, I've done low carb. I can say that I want to be able to control everything. <clears throat> but today I feel like that there's so much emotional eating and and I mean, I do really well as long today as long as I am doing phase 2, I have no problem at all. I have not done anything since I have been on it. Now, can I say if I go on P3 for six weeks that I, that I can control the eating, can I control? I want to be there. I want to. So I am working on it in my head. I'm working on it emotionally. I'm working on it by vlogging because I feel like that if I can um, share my feelings with others, Maybe it'll do something for me that that I've never because I've never admitted it before, ever, to anyone, ever. So Kathy, I appreciate so much you sharing that not only with me, but everyone else that that has watched, and I pray and I hope that other people will watch it and they will. Um, especially if they battle bulimia, that they can come to a place. I, I'm not there by any means, but I feel like for, for today, I'm at a place where I acknowledge it, I want it to change, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I'm willing to change. I do not want to spend the rest of my life 
in the bathroom. So, anyway, my husband is in there laying on the bed waiting for me. He did shut the door because he knows that this is very important to me to to vlog and to to uh, share and especially to tell Kathy KB doing HCG eat I can't even talk KB doing HCG thank you very much and for Miss Sugarbug HCG where's your vlog where's your vlog you need to hurry up and vlog I bet she's eating something she's not supposed to just kidding. Anyway, I love you guys and I appreciate all of you so very much and all of your comments and and I um I'm sure some of this just gets really old for people and I'm really if if it if it's old for you, I'm sorry. Like other people say, you know, you don't have to listen, you can just turn me off. It's okay. But anyway, love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.